welcome to my minimalism challenge week four. Today's challenge is all about our pets. We very easily spoil our pets, it's no secret. We all love them and we want to give them as best life possible by giving them as many things as possible. The things you might need to assess are things like pet treats, dog toys, cat toys, things like brushes, shampoos, combs, flea treatments even. You might have six boxes of flea treatments in your cupboard. Bedding can also get very, very overwhelming. Some of your animals might even have their own outfits. So now you've got everything out on the table. You want to go through every single individual item and see is it still relevant to your animal and do you really need to keep all this stuff? So I've got my special assistant here, Kira, who's going to help me with all this. I'm sure she will accept that we need to keep only the most essential things, although she might protest. So for starters, I have three dog towels. I need all three of these because having a German Shepherd and a Pomeranian, they're both quite long haired dogs. And so it's always quite useful to have more than one towel in rotation. So when I come back from the park, sometimes I might even use two in one day. So I need the three towels. I could probably use with an extra one, if I'm honest. Next up, we have dog treats. So I've got two pots of dog treats. One of this pot here has got more of the everyday sort of like treats if you're doing training with the dogs. This is what I keep for those. I then have a pot of extra special treats, including one that for some reason isn't in the pot, so I'm just going to pop that in there. Next up, I have collars and leads. So my dog has or one of my dogs, might I say, has this bandana collar. I like this because she's a German Shepherd. Everyone looks at her like she's dangerous, so I like to have something a bit prettier on her. It makes her look a little bit less intimidating. She also has this harness. If we go for a long walk and she's on the lead, sometimes she pulls a little bit, so it's always quite a useful thing to have. Great as a little training tool as well, getting our dogs to walk nicely on the lead. I've got one lead here, the other one is in the car, the other one is a extendable, this is just her everyday lead which I like because I can hook it around myself quite easily when we go out for walks and it doesn't get in the way. I've got two vet cards, so one for Kira and one for Buffy. Nail trimmers, we need those. I've got two brushes, one has a, a hair tool, so if, for example Kira gets a lot of loose hair. So I can brush that through and it pulls out the loose fur. This side is great for knots and detangling. And this one is just a standard brush. It's nice and soft and it's quite easy for doing areas, especially around the ears where it's a little bit more delicate. So I like that one too. That's a very good brush to keep. We have pore wax. This is great for different weather conditions. For example, if you're out in the snow or the ice, it protects your dog's feet. Got a Puppy Fresh deodorising spray. This is great for in between washes. It just helps the dogs keep a bit more fresher smelling. Although Kira absolutely hates this smell and she goes mental rubbing her face all over the floor, all over the carpet, trying to get it off of her. Tooth wipes. These I do not use on my German Shepherd, but I do use on my Pomeranian because she doesn't like having her teeth brushed. So this is quite an easy way. I just put one of the wipes on the end of my finger and I can rub down the side of her teeth. She's nine and she's getting on a little bit and she has got a bit of a like, plaque build up on her teeth. But where she's so old now, she doesn't like having a toothbrush put in her mouth, which you can understand, I'm sure. We have one bottle of puppy shampoo. This I use on both of my dogs and it smells the same as the puppy fresh in between wash spray. Oral liquid care, I like to put this in my dog's water bowl. Multi-purpose wipes, these are always very useful for odd things like cleaning out their ears or if they're a bit dirty underneath, they've gone to the toilet and it's stuck with them, you can use those to get rid of the odd bits and bobs. I often use baby wipes as well, but I do have a tub of ones from Pets at Home that are specifically for dogs. Next up, I have a little pot of medication and things. So we have here tablets which we use for Kira because she's got a bit of separation anxiety. There's some natural herbal remedy and I just put them in with her food in the morning and it keeps her a little bit calmer throughout the day. I still have the packaging for these which I do not need, so that will be going first. I've got one box of one dose dewormers. One box of Travelies tablets. I use these for my little dog, however I think she's actually got over her sickness when she travels, so these will be going. 
flexible joint tablets. My Pomeranian also suffers from a little bit of arthritis, so just half of, these, half of one of these tablets every single day. This helps when she's going up the stairs and jumping on the, on the sofa. Doggy toothpaste for Kira. We have ear drops, one sachet of flea treatment. These eye drops were actually from when Kira had the conjunctivitis, and I don't need to keep that anymore. I shouldn't have that. In here, I will not show you, but I've got a couple of their baby teeth, which I've actually actually kept. Um, I probably don't need these, but for sentimental reasons, these will be staying. We have poo bags, naturally you need those. I just want to point out, I did have two more dog shampoos, which I got rid of earlier this week, because I didn't need them. I only tend to use the puppy one on both of them, so the other two were pretty irrelevant. Last up, we have dog toys. When you're looking at dog toys, you need to be monitoring them from day to day use just to make sure there's no tears and things that they can eat. So for example, this one will be going in the bin because as you can see, Kira has pulled out all the stuffing from inside its head, so unfortunately that one's going to have to go in the bin. We've got two big toys, these are both in reasonable condition still. The ears have started coming off this, so what I might do is just get a pair of scissors and trim off the excess. One squeaky bones. <laughs> which Kira is now looking at me excitedly for. A stuffing free toy. A small pull rope. This doesn't get used as much as it used to. What I might do is watch them over the next week and if this isn't played with, it'll go in the bin as well. And last but not least, a Kong. It is a bit dirty, so I will not be showing you too much in detail. But this is brilliant for my German Shepherd again when we go out for her separation anxiety, it gives her something to do rather than destroying the house. Definitely recommend Kong toys. Once you're done, I want you to donate all the things that you no longer need to your local animal shelter as they are always in need of extra items and any donations you can give are always very welcome. So that's it, that's week four of my 10 week minimalism challenge. Don't forget to hit subscribe, otherwise you might miss next week's challenge and hit like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, bye.